Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Summoner. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, we had killed the Riddy, and we're about to head off to the world map. But, as you can see, because of the crash, I had to kill the Riddy again. And it just so happens that he drops a sledgehammer this time. Thank you, sir, for the sledgehammer. Now, fun fact, you do actually have re skill requirements in order to use certain weaponry. So, I need to have the blunt skill and heavy arms for in order to wield a sledgehammer. Which kind of sucks, because that means it's going to take a while for me to get to using it. But, until such time, maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to use it. And that does mean that there is RNG in what it is that the enemies drop. I went ahead and skipped a cutscene, and here we are. I'm going to go ahead and save. I'm going to try to save a little bit more frequently. Uh, since, you know, crashes are a thing. Also, because the world map is actually kind of dangerous. See, I'll be just traveling along. In fact, I'll, I'll even showcase it this episode if I run into one. Come on. Where are you? I know you want to jump me. It doesn't even have to be on the road. There we go. Random encounters. Oh, God. This is the worst case of random encounters, I think. But it does give me an opportunity to level up. So you'll see that most of these enemies just kind of spurst around the place. But if we can just get to any of the boundaries, like you can see here in the yellow we can escape the random encounters. We don't even have to kill everything here. We can, we just don't have to. And I won't lie too, uh, being forced to use the combos I don't wanna use kinda sucks. Eh, 14 damage wasn't that bad. Eight. 17, 22. Heck, too slow that time. I want to say that these guys actually provide... Um, they also drop a thing. I think they drop their tail. Which, as far as I know, is only something to sell. I actually don't remember off the top of my head. They also sound annoying when you kill them. Yep. Fast like tail. I'm not sure what exactly it does, but I can sell it. Now, let's work on this other one over here. They actually reward quite a bit of experience points, so... The idea of actually going and taking out these guys... For their experience points is very tempting. Ah. I barely break a combo of eight on a good t on a good combo. Come on. Dang it. I grow powerful. There we go. I've grown more powerful. Which means I'm going to put more to heal. And I'm going to start putting into dodge. I really wish that you would learn some other skills a little bit more uh, faster. Oh. I want to say that this guy might be tougher. But, I don't know. He seems to be doing the same amount of damage as his green friend. He's also less annoying. Sound-wise, anyways. He's not going... Oh, oh. Besides, I'll need to get more of the combos, you know? Give me more combos. Dang it. I hate that stab. It always seems to ruin any and all combos I do. 
See? I don't see it coming. These are a funky enemy to kill. Almost got him. There we go. Ooh, this one actually dropped gold, too. Uh, you'll notice, too, that when it comes to it, uh, stuff can get a little bit expensive in this game. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not as planned. Uh-uh. Nope. Two at once? Maybe. Three at once? Hell no. Let's head to Linnell proper now. Such a lovely looking place, right? I'm pretty sure all the NPCs have something to talk about. So I wait like a fool for the ships to come in. I heard that they might sail the fleet to the west and come over land, but the caravan won't get here until winter. Yeah, not all of them actually have anything important to say. You might get a little bit of a lore drop or something. You'll overhear conversations. Talking about Linnell and his grace and all that fun stuff. But for the most part, it seems like the only people you really need to talk to are the ones with exclamation marks over their heads. Actually, yeah, that's about it. Just the ones with exclamation marks over their heads. So, this is currently buy. There's nothing I can really buy with 104 gold. I can sell the ever loving crap out of stuff, though. What's the info on this again? Right, this is the one that raises your defense. Eh. And this is the one that makes it so as you're healed from any ailment. I got a healing spell, so... Yeah. I'm good with my items. Now, I will not sell any of the stuff that is... Ooh, recovery from damage. I uh, will not sell any of the stuff that actually heals heals. Seems like a smart idea to me anyways. Oh, this guy. That's right. Maybe I can be a dick to this guy this time. Greetings, adventure. I have a task for a brave warrior such as yourself. What is it? There has been some trouble with a band of robbers in the grasslands near, near Linnell. What about the robbers? Evildoers who waylay my caravans, leeching off my profits. They're a scourge on the law-abiding citizens by your caravans. Mine are the richest in all Linnell, laden with exotic spices from the Galadians. These thefts must end. What do you want me to do about it? Find and vanquish these villains. Bring me the bow of Zane, their leader, and I will reward you richly. What's so special about it? It's a weapon of no particular value, except as proof that you have defeated the robbers. So, now we can go out into the wilderness and try to find this Zane. But, for the moment, I wanted to come over here. As I believe that there's a soldier I need to talk to. Don't think that that's the soldier. This is a pretty big map, by the way. I can look at this thing. It's so big. It's all massive. Oranian goods are harder to find now. The merchant fleets no longer sail, and many Oranians have gone into hiding. You can still buy silk, but it's more expensive now. Yeah, I kind of want that guy's armor. Watch them... Watch them absolutely screw me by having it so as I can only equip a robe and shit. Man, I'd be so pissed. For centuries, the Runari have traded on the grounds. The old chieftain Avram killed a wolf on this site, and so it's known as Avram Market. Alright, so we know we're in Avram Market. Good for us. Well, hello. More elixirs. Oh, no, this is more than just elixirs in this one. Scrolls, healing drafts, books. I gotta see whether or not uh, some of these actually have a value. Because... Yeah, this one can use five charges of an acid arrow spell. This one only uses one. I'm gonna guess, yep, one. I just don't know the difference between whether what's a book, a tract, a rune, 
whether or not I need to worry about those, but I can sell him all my healing drafts, which I don't want to do. Really what I need is a good armor or weapon smith. And I don't think you can actually find anything in any of the crates and barrels here. Uh, Linnell Crown District? Nah. We ain't gotta go there. Kind of tempted to try to find the uh, dude who did the thing. I'm gonna pay for that cider. Yeah. Soldiers being dicks. Oh hi, you're a dude. Nine years ago, I swore on my brother's grave that I will, if I ever crossed your path again, I would kill you, Joseph Asaran. I'm sorry. Who are you? My name is Jakar. Do you remember me now? Yeah. To think I once called you friend. Have you forgotten what happened in Saran? I tried to save our village. Save our village? You destroyed it. You killed everyone. You burned our cottages to the ground. That demon destroyed Saran, not I. You used that ring and summoned the demon. The ring that Yago gave you. You couldn't control your power and so our people died. I threw that ring down a well. You should have thrown yourself in after it. Why are you here? Have you come to destroy Linnell? I'm looking for Yago. That old spider? I've seen him. I'd have cut him in half, by, but I'm now a soldier in the king's army. If, you, if he ever falls from royal favor, my axe will be waiting. Where is he? Fate is cruel. They call him Lord Yago now, and he's a counselor for, the, for Prince Sornahan. Sornahan, yeah. When he came to the city, he was begging in the gutters. Now he lives in the royal palace with the king and queen. How did he become the prince's counselor? You could go to the palace and ask him yourself, but I doubt the guard would let a cotter like you through the front gate. Peasants serve Melaine. Plowboy, farmer, pick a name that pleases you if you don't like cotter. If I ever find you outside the walls of this king's city, I will have my vengeance, Joseph Saran. He doesn't like us. He's going to become our closest friend. You know, typical game trope. Is it this guy? This was the guy. Come on, talk to him. Joseph, I heard the Rennies attack Mossad. I, uh, have you come to join the king's army? I actually have a sword for you. That sword belonged to my ancestor. He died on Nato's Hill, fighting for Lord Falcon Eye. If you're giving me this sword, my uncle Asik must be dead too. Take my weapon, Joseph. I no longer have need of it. I got a bastard sword. Let the good times roll. 45. That's 10 more damage than my current sword. We're just gonna... Bloop. Yeah, two-handed sort of hoe. There's a couple of more quests that we can currently pick up that I know of around here anyways. We got this guy. Talk to him. Weapons, the surly weaponsmith scowls at you and says, What is it? If you wish a sword or armor made, I must insist on payment in advance. Why in advance? My last customer, a nobleman, took a sword he commissioned but refused to pay for it. To refuse to pay. Yeah. Serving came to take the sword, saying that my fee would be paid when my master accepted it. Oh, has he? Three weeks have passed and still no fee. I've become desperate. Why is that? I cannot pay the money lender unless I collect that fee. The vultures will haul me off to the keep. How are you planning to collect? He ignores me, but if a bold adventurer like you confronted him, he will surely pay the fee. Really think he'll pay? Yeah, I'm sure of it. I will reward you richly if you can collect my fee. Do we have a deal? Hell yeah. Good. Nobleman's name is Lord Corell, and he often hunts in the grasslands near Linnell. Updated quest book. Now, before when I was playing this, just had to see. Uh, I kind of took all the stuff, all the possible quests, pseudo one by one ish. But I think this time around, I'm just going to collect as many as I possibly can. Talk to the guy. It's kind of annoying that you have to click either the top of the character or the bottom of the character. Alas, good sir, says the red-faced shopkeeper. 
I cannot serve you today. I've been robbed and my shop is closed. Yeah, a customer bought fine silk garments and paid for them in what seemed to be gold pieces. The gold were base lead with a thin coating of gold. Cursed thief, I'm ruined. With my best clothing stock gone and no gold to buy more, I cannot stay in business. He goes by the name of Serval. If you wish to find him and return what he stole, I would reward you well. Yay! Now we just gotta find this Serval guy. Along with a... Uh... Noble who likes to stiff his... People. Oh, hello. Greetings, sir. Bibris the bookseller at your service. I'm gonna guess you have another purpose if you got exclamation marks over your head. How about you, sir? I craft the finest armor in Linnell, but supplies are scarce and the king's men need, the, need their mail. Do a few odds and ends I could part with? Sirs, we're trying to have a conversation. I know you're nobles, but heck off. Uh, <laughs> I'm not proficient with any of these. I'm definitely not proficient with steel-heeled boots. Oh no. They're a far particular character. We have been spoiled. Wow, when he said odds and ends, he really did mean odds and ends. Like a pair of boots, a pair of pants, and some shields. Thank you, good sir, but I shall have to come back another day. What kind of sucks is having to get so close to a character to see whether or not they have something to say or do. Well, I think that with the amount of quests that I have, I have a surmountable uh, amount of things I could do out in the field really quickly. And now I get to play around with my sword. I got a sword. What kind of sucks is that before the end of... Before finding out that uh, the PS2 port emulation is kind of finicky. I think I was around level 8. Which involved a lot of killing of stuff and quests and whatnot. Which I'm not too sour about. It was still the beginning of the game. Like, again, maybe for five episodes in it's just uh, that little added tedium you know saving saving hope we do not die I wonder if I can return to Masad and all the people will be there too probably not huh no I won't lie I kind of like how this world map works at the same time, I kind of wish that I still had a controller. Random encounters. Hello. Oh. It's undead time. Uh, this way seems to be the most... Least undead filled. Undead kind of suck. Let him get close and then attack him. Let me see if I can actually do anything against this guy. Undead kind of suck in this, in that uh, they are hard to hit. They do so much damage. God damn it. I might just die to this guy. I think I'm a little too used to the other weapon. I gotta get used to new animations and all that fun stuff. There we go. Never mind. Maybe I will do fine. <laughs> Anyways. Um. Let's see. More heal. I'm gonna need it. And more sword. And hey, I also have a new possible proficiency with staff weapons. I more than likely ain't gonna use it won't lie. Alright. So the way, the thing that sucks about these particular guys anyways is that 
they're kind of dexy dodgy bastards so they're a little bit harder to hit more consistently but thanks to the fact that I now have a freaking huge ass sword it's awesome you'll also see that they have been healing by themselves yeah that's a thing and it sucks they have a regeneration effect and I hate it um yeah now I have a regenerate spell come on you thought you'd nearly caught me off guard well you did I was trying to check my spells you jerk dang it I do so much more damage with this thing though so ah, dang it chain slay there we go a long sword I just want to check I'm not proficient with it, sadly. It's a sword, heavy arms three, 50 damage. I'm gonna be saddened if this is a one-handed sword that's better than the Basque sword. Um, I actually wanna leave. I'd rather not uh, deal too much with the undead. Let's save again, just in case. I'm glad you can save anywhere in this game. You could even do that with the PlayStation 2 port. Also, I'm just noticing this difference. In the PlayStation 2 port, you did not have uh, labels here for the different towns, so you just kind of wandered around the battle map. That said, this battle map uh, kind of sucks. <laughs> Ah, oh, god damn it. I'm gonna take out these three. Experience points, you see. Can't say no no to XP's. Too fast. Too slow. Oh, I've been poisoned. That's the first time I've actually been poisoned in this game. So I'm going to guess that their poison effect in this game kind of works the same as regeneration. It's slow, it's a little tedious, but when it hits, it does damage. Like, it doesn't seem as useful, but when it is actually used, it kind of bleh. Uh, was it this one? Nope, that's a small amount of damage. It was a recovery tonic. Nope. I have a spell for this. What am I doing? Heal yourself, you bastard. Boom. I'm healed. And we'll put a heal on him, too. Doesn't seem like much healing, but that is far better healing than the... Uh, considering how expensive it is to buy potions, it is far better to just use AP. Potions are more of a while in battle sort of a thing to use. Dang it. See that though? I had a combo of 12. Fan freaking tastic guys. Get you good at this game. All right, let's slay this guy up here. Oh, he's already injured. Oh no, that's my HP. Shut up. Go to help. Come on. Thank you. Feels bad when you see that they don't hit like five times in a row because they're ducksy dodgy bastards. And then you get hit like a billion times in a row. Come on. 
You're better with a sword, Joseph. I'm gonna have to just up his sword till max. So the the way that skills work, I'm not sure the math behind them. But the maximum that you can level up a singular skill, any skill whatsoever, is 10. So... It doesn't seem like uh, you would have to get all that much skill in beating... I grow powerful. There we go. Bassite Tail. Um, so level 6, and we're still getting only 2 points. That's fine. We'll do sword twice. Not gonna lie, I kinda wanna just run around the world map doing nothing but killing stuff for a little while. Maybe I can run into one of the other things now. <sighs> killing bassites is so ludicrously idealistic when it comes to slaughter though. Like here. I need to kill so many more monsters, and the Bassites had dropped, what, 120 experience points per Bassite? That's tempting, yo. Come on. Something. Oh. Hey, it's him. Alright. We're gonna save this time around. So this is that pompousy dude who didn't pay his uh, weaponsmith. Speak your business, knave. Then move yourself out from my sight. I'm in the middle of a hunt. Have you paid for that sword? No, but I shall make you pay for your insolence, mongrel. No one asks such questions of Lord Corel. I'll give you this sword, but on one condition. What is it? You defeat me in combat to the death. You accept my challenge. Yeah, sure, why not? Let us begin, dog. Oh, I'm going to enjoy murdering you, sir. It's not murder, he's challenged me. That's it. Oh, he gets the first attack. What's kind of funny is that, you know, he's got a sword. Look at that sword. He's trying to kill me with a kukri. Like, it, it's just a freaking curved dagger. He ain't no knight. Dude's got a lot of HP, though. A lot more than I do. Dang it. Always too slow with an added blow. Uh, that's a uh, poet and I didn't know a sort of situation right there. Come on. Chain confusion, because that's more helpful against the knightly guy. I still don't know why it doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Cap shift and all that fun stuff. Maybe because they made it so as one of the keys that you had to press for the combo activation is caps lock. Maybe that's something I'll have to find a thing for after this particular episode because right clicking and having it so as it just goes through the motions of these kind of sucks. That was just after the ch freaking push one, too. I got the feeling that this is the closest thing they currently have to a boss fight. Because this guy is an HP sponge. But he does next to no damage otherwise. I really hope that this guy has, like, no actual special moves. One second, see if I can't quickly drink one of these. Yeah, that worked. Fine. Come on. Heck. If I level up off this guy, I don't care that much. 
about any damage I'd taken. I just wanted to ensure that I was going to live. Come on. Too slow. Ugh, all these APs that could be damage. See, the way it worked on the PS PS2 is that it was up, down, left, right. That was the combo buttons, the D-pad. So it was just easy to just go up, down, left, right on that shit. Ah, I kind of wish I could take his shield and armor, too. But, say la vie. Gonna heal up a little bit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode. When we return, I am most definitely going to attempt uh, finding this Zane guy. Because he sounds like a terrible individual. Yeah, actually doesn't that sound that bad to me, considering how pompous a lot of these nobles seem to be. And that's totally not just because I actually know the conclusion of that particular quest. So, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm currently enjoying playing it. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.